gift giving season. Obviously, in time, you came up with a great idea. Uh, who's been getting gifts from, in terms of pitchers? All year. Also, in terms of some hitters. So, explain what a gift to a pitcher is here. Well, we there's on. a lot of gifts for a pitcher, but the one that stands out for me is when you throw a ball that's not in the strike zone, <laughs> and it's called a strike. <laughs> hitters will tell you, well, you just gave the guy a gift, right? <laughs> so, I went and I looked back, and who got the most gifts this year for pitchers? <laughs> So I'm going to give you the top three, starting with number three. All We're right. going to go backwards, okay, and count them down. Number three, I know you love this guy. I do, Zach yeah, Davis. absolutely. I mean, don't call him a nibbler because he's actually aggressive. He's always right around the edges of the zone. And, yeah, he got the third most number of gifts, strike calls on balls out of the strike zone, than any pitcher in baseball. When you're around the plate, you get calls, right? Who else does that? How about number two, Tyler Anderson. Okay. The Giants get a lefty in here as well. This is where you got to love your catchers, too, by the way. When you talk about the influence of pitch framing, you know, it's the catcher's job, not just the pitchers, too, to try to make strikes out of balls. And Tyler Anderson, number two. Who's number one? Who got the most gifts of any pitcher in the big leagues? No surprise. Uh, the yeah, master that's right. of making balls look like Crafty strikes. veteran. Zach Granke. By the way, what's up with the name Zach? Like three, two of the three here are named Zach. But there's a common denominator, and Zach really – exemplifies this, Fran. Guy, when you're around the plate, you do get calls. I know that's been said a lot around the game. So Zach Greinke, number one in baseball, 52 pitches out of the strike zone. That's essentially you're getting, you know, four, five, six calls your way every start. That's a big difference. And I thought, since it's also the season of the Grinch, too. Before, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. I was well, going to say, if, well, Some me, guys don't get gifts. Well, before, your pitcher. Before, before we get to that, let me ask you: yeah. How much of that, too, do you think is with all three guys? They, they're not going to wow you with, you know, 98, 99, 100. So, how much of the fact is that that they these are guys who have to kind of pitch their way? Around I'm glad stuff. you said that because there is something to the old aphorism that if you're around the plate, you get the calls. The guy who's wild and spraying the ball isn't going to get that call. The umpire's eyes get trained to see the ball around the zone all the time, and that's what those guys do. And I'm glad you said that because I have a Grinch award for the guy who doesn't get the calls. Okay. All right. And it's the complete opposite. Someone with a really big arm. Oh, well, there we go. And there he is, there Tyler Glass go. now. Yeah. If you watch the Rays catchers when Tyler pitches, no matter what he throws, they set up in the middle of the plate. His stuff is that good. You just let it eat, right? He's not trying to dot the ball on the corners of the plate. So he, this is a guy now with power stuff who all year long only got 11 gifts. Wow. Pitches that were out of the zone called strikes. So, yes, you're onto something there. I, I like didn't even, it. I, I, I did not even know that <laughs> know was coming. Did. So, uh, by the way, Tyler Glass now, uh, amazing stuff, a uh, great pitcher and for years to come, I'm sure. All right, let's flip it to the hitters here. So, uh, explain to us what, what a gift is for a hitter. Well, if I'm a pitcher and a guy hits the ball softly and gets a hit out of it, I did my job. That's a gift, okay? <laughs> so I looked at how many guys hit the ball at 80 miles per hour or less. That's not hitting it very hard at all. And had the most hits on that soft contact. We'll do the same thing. We'll take it backwards <laughs> from three. We actually had a tie here at three. Garrett Hampton. Now, part of that is bunting, and I give hitters credit. It's kind of a lost art in the game. Pitchers hate it. You know that, right? Pitchers, look at the pitchers' faces at all these bunts. Like, I can't believe that. Somebody actually bunted in the big leagues in 2020. But give these guys credit. Soft hits. Yeah, they're hits. They count the same as the line drives. Here's another guy who can put the ball on the ground. Victor Robles, if he puts it on the ground, you better hurry to get rid of the ball. Great wheels out of the right side of the batter's box. Also can butt the ball very well. So he's tied at number three. Most gifts for offensive players. Putting the ball in play on weak contact and turning it into knocks. Jorge Polanco, we got a theme here going, Frank. These sure guys do. with wheels, right? Yep. As an infielder, you know that. If you're an infielder and you have to move more than two steps to go get the baseball, you're probably not going to get Jorge Polanco. He's that quick out of the box. And number one, you talk about getting quick out of the box. Rami El Tapia, watch him get out of the box on this. That looks like a routine ground ball. Sure no does. play even at first base. I mean, he's to me, he's one of these guys. He's full speed at first step out of the box. And listen, it helps, too. You're playing in Colorado. You can bloop in some balls, too. The big outfield there. But essentially looking at guys who don't hit the ball hard and get a lot of hits, speed is the common denominator. Now, I know what you're going to ask me next. No, right? I'll let you go to your – are you going to a Grinch? Yeah, the, okay, the Grinch I'll let you go. Okay, Because we've got to go like the other way. we got to right. go opposite. If you're not getting <laughs> any weak contact hits, it probably means you don't run really well. So I looked at guys who saw at least 800 pitches, so not just a bench player. Gotcha. Guys who had a lot of playing time. Only one hit all year at 80 miles per 
miles per hour or less. Tsutsugo of the Rays, yeah, he's just a little bit unlucky too, but obviously not a lot of speed. It's not right. part of his game. I thought they thought he'd hit with a little more power than he did first year in MLB. And one other guy tied him, another guy not known for speed, Yasmani Grandal. So now you're talking about one hit all year on soft contact, and some of the other guys are getting 15, 16, 17. Imagine what that does yeah. to your batting average, yeah. right? If you give me in a 60-game season a dozen more hits, I mean, that's what wheels can do for you, right? So these big guys, they got to hit the ball out of the ballpark to, to earn their pay. So, so, so in this age of analytics where we have numbers on everything, do – Organizations will they factor that in with players with speed, or do they just look at the fact that oh, you know, he hits the ball on average of you know 90 miles per hour. So if he's got low contact or low barrel, not necessarily barrel rate, but low exit velocity, uh, do they just put that in a box and say chuck it, or do they look at the particular player like these guys with speed? Do they factor that in that it potentially could be? A, a benefit and advantage for them. Yeah, I think, listen, they look at everything, maybe even too much sometimes, but the question is how much do they value it? And I'm afraid the game has devalued that speed because we see what, how it can compromise defense, just being in the box. Maybe you have to play a step in closer to the hitter. Now you lost some range. Maybe another hit falls in. That is hit hard. I don't think teams really value that mm. enough. The game so much now is about the three true outcomes, right, strikeouts, home runs, and especially hitting the ball over the fence. That that's been devalued, speed. I'd love to see us get back to a game where there's more of that, putting pressure on defenses because you can run. Another guy who's not necessarily at the at the top in terms of um, you know getting base hits with uh, with low exit velocity, but he's kind of you know in the middle, whatever. And who's a great player is Ozzy Albies. He doesn't always crush the baseball, but I mean he puts the barrel on the ball and he doesn't hit it at 95 or 100 miles per hour off the bat. But I mean obviously he's a great player, dinks and dunks it around, but also can hit for power as well. So there are guys you don't have to hit the ball 100 miles an hour off the Absolutely. barrel. Absolutely, we're here all week, so as long as you're giving out gifts, man, you know I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Put you in my list here. You and your dog. I get him a treat.